Oh god. That's terrifying. Hello friends, my name is Sonya Knight, and welcome back to Black Book. And we're gonna, like, learn about chords and stuff, I guess. Uh, as soon as we find out about the demons of the mill. Not long ago, there was a rich man who lived in the village. He had a water mill. One day, he fell ill and found himself at death's door. He told his worker, gather the three horses and take me to the mill, for I will die today. The assistant did as he was told. As he was riding home, he thought to himself, how did my master know he would die today? He called his horses to a stop and rode back to the mill. When he arrived, he peered quietly through the window. What did he see but his master just sitting there, crying bitterly? Just then, a trap door to the cellar opened and several devils emerged. They tore the master's skins open and ate his flesh. Then, one of the devils possessed the miller by crawling into the skin that was left over. Oh my. Okay. Cold and Familiars after his initiation, a Koldun not only receives the knowledge and power of a sorcerer, he also receives his familiars, imps known as Bess or Chort. To the uninitiated, these demons appear in many different forms, as stained glass, bugs, or other insects. They can also appear as little human-like creatures with the body of a man and the head of a mouse and the arms of a frog. Familiars can be werewolves, cursed men, heretics, the unholy dead, or kikamoras. In the forest, a Koldun can be aided by werewolves and... Whoa. And wedding guests that have been transformed into bears. Werewolves can be distinguished from regular wolves by their eyes, which burn red. A Koldun's imp familiars must always be occupied by work, or else they will cast curses upon people and animals. This is why the Koldun, to keep them busy, sends his familiars to make ropes out of the sand, count the leaves of the trees, or empty the sea with a teaspoon. Interesting. Uh, old Edgar has passed on his knowledge to you, uh, passed on to you his pester full of chorts. You now have a number of chorts yearning for mischief. Be careful, idle chorts torment their cold and masters. It takes some time for chorts to do their job, a day or more. Each location has a specific type of job, hunger, strife, corruption, etc. Each chort has a job preference. You can discover it by learning a specific skill. Chorts perform better with their job of choice and worse with ones they hate. In order for chorts not to torment you and steal your health, don't forget to give them jobs every morning. Matvi and Opricnik during the reign of Ivan the Terrible, Matvi is now a fiend. Fat Ivashka likes it when children starve. Fyodor One Eye lost his eye in a bet with a sinful lot who accepted bribes. He now hates people even more. Okay. Uh, send rotten to the roots of a peasant garden. Send rats. Cease strife between a young bride and her in law. Call strife between a young bride and her in laws. Call a hailstorm. Send drought. Send rats. Lots of rats. Okay. Okay. Alright. The moment I became a Kaldun, I saw the guest in a completely different light. There is no such place where a demon wouldn't hide. You just noticed your own chords are also a giant snake. How did you come to be a Kaldun, Grandpa? Well, told you the other day about the demon stealing Timothy. That's the reason for it. Fighting the pointy tailed. I heard once that shepherds are no worse. So I became a shepherd boy, helped Prokopi, the holy fool. I shouldn't mention him at night. Knew his way around the forest, that one, and how to find lost cattle. So I studied <laughs> under him. Anyway, uh, it's a long story. I'll tell you later how I received my knowledge. It's not like I got it from him, anyway. Had to bust my butt. In any case, see how I managed to teach you. Appreciate that. Indeed. Okay. I do, Grandpa. What kind of man was he, that Prokopi? Prokopi. Not a kind man at all, but of great knowledge. Cursed a lot of people. Practically earned a living that way. Nearly cursed me <coughs> once. Okay, shepherds. Are shepherds really no worse? What makes you think they aren't? Why don't you try finding all the cattle in the forest without a demon's help? One has to know how to ask the old man of the forest for help. And in case a demon steals a cow or something, huh? You, you have to be able to get it back. You'll have to learn. What did you think? 
shepherds lie on their backs all day. <laughs> Your wish. Okay. Cool. Demons are the one turning the grindstones at the mill. Well, the miller won't turn them, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Can't the wind spin them? Do you have to use demons everywhere? It's dangerous. And it's in taboo. Well, <laughs> what did you expect? <laughs> it will soon be the 20th century. The demons might make it easier. If they can start making floor, who knows? Maybe we can teach them to read, too. You've heard of steam engines, huh? I think there's a steam chart inside, like the one you can find in a samovar. <laughs> Alright then. How do you manage your own chores? Nothing to it, really. Just give them something to do. The only thing is they can't manage <laughs> every task well. Their job is to wreak havoc. They don't like any other sort. Okay. Little men, when once we asked a cold dune to show us his imps, he was nice and drunk. It was around Maslinista time. He waved at us. I'll show you, but don't be frightened. Each one had on blue short pants and red shirts. They stood in a line like little men, about 70 centimeters tall. They didn't walk, but hopped about. And when the cold dune gave an order, the wind started to howl. I'll send them to the forest to count the needles on the pine, and when they're needed, I'll call out, and the wind will blow them back to me, he sighed bitterly. The imps ask incessantly for work. What work? It's absurd. I once took them to mow. Come the next morning, the grass was waist high again. Their true calling is to cast curses on people, but the more you curse, the more imps you get. It's torture. It's good to know. Okay. All right, visitors. You're going to get yelled at the witch. Vasilisa told her that. It's me again. Hello, Miller. I came to give my thanks. The spirits are stuck haunting us. Ah, thank you. Here's what I promised. <sighs> when Miller inherited this mortar, by the looks of it, it's far too old of a thing not to be enchanted. Herbs and healing. Healing? I said healing. Zagavores restore plus one. The spirits, however, took the money I saved from my grandson's book. Well, it is what it is. I actually took that money. My bad. <coughs> so, I came to find out if maybe you've changed your mind about that woman. I brought a gift, you know. <sighs> Why would I do that? I've got so many sins already. Oh no, I'm not the person kind. Well, all right. I'll think of something myself. Well, see ya. Thank you for the gift. <laughs> You're interesting looking. Well, live long. My godmother sends a jug of milk and sends her regards. Kolya, is that you? Hello, old Igor. So, you're back. Yeah, it's been at least a week. You sure have grown tall. <laughs> How tall are you, exactly? Uh, Twelve uh, Tershoks? Well, what brings you here? I heard about your man, Vasilisa. Such a rude, rough one. I know. Hmm. However, I'm here for another reason. I need your help. Yesterday evening, Get together. I made a bet with the lads. They dared me to enter Banya at night. Oh my. I don't believe all this supernatural stuff you see. When you go to war, you see things clear. I entered this old Banya, the abandoned one by the river. It was around midnight. I opened the door and saw a sort of blue light, and it was fired. I reached into the stove. You know, to take a stone. They wouldn't call me chicken if I showed them proof later. Mm -hmm. Dragon blood. A hairy paw grabbed my left hand. Here, look, left a mark. Banix. A Banik was the master of the Banya in which he resided. He could help or protect a man, but also scare or even kill him. It was important to perform rituals correctly and to be careful not to violate any taboos. In the various villages of Cherdan Uyezd, Uyezd it was forbidden to use the banya during the first or third heating or when drunk. A man could suffocate or burn himself to death, events that were considered to be the punishment of the bannock. A man could also fall into the hearth constructed of rough-hewn stones, later constructed of brick. Sometimes banyas caught fire, so people built them far from their izba or even on a river, river bank. Peasants often gave birth to children in banyas, so there was always a risk of a devil replacing the baby with an aspen log or a broom. 
Uh, okay then. Okay. That devil didn't let me go. All of a sudden, this feeling in my head. The hand was hot as fire, and then I just lost it. And she kept on asking, and she still held on to me, wouldn't let go. So I told her I would. Then she let me go. I ran as fast as I could. You've made a mistake, my friend. Damn this demonic power. You're a Noah. Help me, would you? Nikolai visited the Barna at midnight. Something grabbed him. What might that be? In the Barna, you say? Oh, that's a Bannock, all right. Bannock. Lord almighty. So its hand was hairy. What else did you notice? I couldn't see anything. It was completely dark. The hand was black and hairy. What did you do with the stone? Well, I took it with me. To prove to them I wasn't yellow. Didn't tell about the demon, though. Dropped it off at home later. I told my godmother and she sent me here right away. Ah, wise woman, your godmother. Indeed. <coughs> All right, I won't leave you to the wolves. Oi, Sirisa, take a closer look at the demon. This Banyak may have an Aspen seal on her. Go to the old Banya tonight, both of you. Talk to the demon and find out why she wants to marry you. You, Kola, use this bell on your left eye to see the demon. Don't forget the stone, Kola. I'll wait for you outside. Okay. Cool. Didn't think I'd be seeking help from nowheres. I've always depended only on myself. My military service. Well, it's quite a story. Maybe later. All right. Hello. Hey, Basha. They say you're a Nora now. This may be of interest to you then. The other day we were gathering berries by Kajuli Lake. By the way, I have brought you some. You may be near the point. Anyway, we came across this clearing with holes everywhere. The horror. So I thought you might want to go there. Who knows? Perhaps there are evil spirits. Okay, cool. Alright. Well, we have the ability to take your companions along on your travels. Each helper has a unique ability that you can make use of in battle. Presence or absence of certain helpers affects the outcome of in-game events. Backhand. Okay. Alright. Well, let's go. You notice a black silhouette on the road. It appears to be shrouded in fog and is hard to distinguish in the soft light. The air is filled with a strange song performed by a demon. You've never heard this melody before. A chill runs down your spine as you listen to the alien melody. The devil continues his song. You listen, holding your breath and not moving. Soon, the melody stops, crashes against the tops of the fir trees, and dissolves in moonlit sun. You feel that perhaps now you understand human tongues better. Cool. You are now in the skill section of the menu. Here you can unlock new magic abilities. You can visit the section through the menu anytime. With each level, you increase your health and knowledge points, which are necessary to unlock new abilities. As you increase your level, more and more demons will join your swarm. Some abilities unlock automatically at the moment of obtaining a certain level. Okay. Black speech, book handling, demonology, and knowledge ability. Increase the number of orders in your Zakavor by one. Okay. Words deal one more damage. Hmm. Cool. Okay. Words with defense increase their value by one. Colden's trick allowing to change one card with a trump one. Uh, that's level 19. That's level 10. Alright, what about this one? Number of active slots for items increased by one. Shop prices reduced by 10%. Increases the number of items that can be used per turn. Visiting presents bring 10 more gold and gifts or rubles. Uh, draw an additional order page each turn. Draw an additional key page each turn. Uh, page creation cost is reduced by 20. All right. Chorts bring five more on uh, five more rubles on the job completion. You can send one chort on a meaningless job. 
Short specialties and job types are visible. Hmm. Let's learn that. Exit. Suddenly, a magic circle shimmers at the demon's feet. A moment later, another devil appears by his side. His burning eyes are staring right at you. Let's go. All right. Um, you're attacking for two. You're summoning more evil spirits. Okay. Um. All right. I need to kill you quickly so you won't summon a whole bunch of spirits. That's a problem. Uh. Hmm. Okay. You're doing a lot of damage. Um. Okay, are you doing 15 damage this turn, or is it 15 damage after 3 turns? Okay, 15 damage after 3 turns, that makes me feel a little bit better. So, let's go ahead and just do this, and then we'll do this. Hmm. We'll do this. No, wait. I need to kill you. Five damage again. Do this. Do this. Um, I don't really need any health right now. What if I go ahead and take some damage and do this first, and then do this? Need to kill you this turn. You're about to summon another demon. Um, put you. Have any negative status effects? I really just need you to die. That does not seem to be happening. Uh. Wait, are you doing that 15 damage this turn? Does that mean I'm doing 10 damage? Yep, okay. I misunderstood. It's okay. It's all good. Um, I can go ahead and kill you now. Let's go ahead and place this on you. Um, block, and I'm gonna heal one. Is it really just one? kill you this turn? I would really like to kill you this turn. Ah, uh, yes. Perfect. Um, Now 
I can kill you. Um, it's four. Yeah, that's plenty to kill you. We'll just go ahead and do this, though. Uh, let's see. Plus three increases the attack of each page. P80 increases defense. Okay. Nice. Let's go. Notice a strange sight in the distance. A ball of snakes is rolling around the woodland road, scales glittering in the moonlight. Nikolai gleans and picks up a large stone. He throws it right at the snake ball. Most of the snakes scatter, but some of the enraged creatures slither your way. Luckily, you find some healing herbs near the overturned stone. All right, couple snakes. I can deal with this. What are you doing? Are you buffing? Oh, you're poisoning me. All right. Uh, I need to heal. Try poisoning me again? Yep. Okay. Uh, that works for me. <laughs> I wonder if I have to fill up all of my slots. Poison does not work like how I thought it did. That's okay. Um. Removes positive status. Amplifies. Okay, after each use of the pages of the same name. Okay. <sighs> okay. Increase the number of keys in the book. Mm. You got this. Thank you. Near the old gravestones, you see a demon. His eyes are focused on the sky. It seems that he is in deep thought. He merely sighs when he notes the tomb. Oh, it's you! I remember you fallen into her. What a talkative chump. Well, what's so special about that? <laughs> Me, I flew out of hell and decided to stay for a while. Help me find an answer to a question. And I'll <coughs> reward you with it. Okay. Well, sure. Ask away. I'm searching for an answer. What are the three kinds of dates? You go out on a date with your loved one. Well, that's one. What are the other two? What are the three dates? You have one with a loved one, and the second one is... 
for fruit. Some exotic fruit called a date. Hmm. Right. What is the third one? A calendar date. What are the three dates? The best one. A calendar date. It's Turk and Douglas now. So you are no one. Here you are. A treasure for your effort. Thank you. Well, I guess I have to get back to hell before they miss me. Have a great the day. The demon disappears into flames. You continue on your journey. Uh, that doesn't have a gear. Uh, firm. Uh. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Traveling herbalist. Hello. You're not what would consider an average girl, are you? In that case, I'll show you some fine wares. Here, take a look. Thank you. Um, I have. Um, I don't. Poisonous. One time, a crow ate a ra razorva, and then it died. I can poison. Huh. Okay. All right. Hmm. Curse. Hmm. I'll grab one of these. Thank you. Yep. Um, nice place you got here. Have a great day. All right, we're off. Like a gloomy skeleton of an unknown beast, the old remains of a burnt house stand before you. All the logs are charred black. Some of them have collapsed and are covered with moss. Only the white stove gleams in the room, still intact, even to the fire. Let's go in. Take several steps inside the hut. You suddenly hear a crack, and one of the burnt boards falls on your head. It's hard to tell who used to live in this izba. You step inside, and you seem to sense the smell of burnt wood. Stars and pine branches are visible above instead of the roof. Suddenly, you notice a shaggy figure near the furnace. As soon as you make a move towards the mysterious figure, it disappears. A ball of baked clay lies where the black spirit once was. You take it with you. Cool. Um, awesome. Nice. You see a friendly flame burning in the distance. You come closer, and soon you are standing in front of a lonely church. Inside it is warm and cozy. It smells of incense and old wooden sculptures. Soon, you hear a calm voice. So, you're wandering at night again, I take it. Be careful on the road you travel. It can lead you to places no one can help you out of. Oh, oh. Interesting. Um. Hmm. Interesting. You have a lot of really interesting things. I'll grab this. Thank you. And I can sell you stuff? Hmm. I don't know if I should bless you with the liquor. Your road is a twisted one. You read a prayer and rest in it. Nice. Goodbye, Holy Father. <coughs> okay. Uh, let's go this way. Set off. You approach the open river. Dried bushes are sticking out of its walls like rotten teeth of a dead animal. 
You carefully look down. Suddenly, the forest around you is lit by a strange red light. As you look up, you see a fiery ball zigzagging through the sky. Your words are lost among the tree branches. The fiery ball flies away, and everything is silent again. All right. Well then, fine. Night travels are not the most convenient ones. In the darkness, you can stumble upon any kind of evil spirits. This is precisely what happens now. You step into a silent meadow where a demon is drinking tea from a samovar. You step into a silent meadow where a demon is drinking tea from a samovar. He notices you and invites you to join him. You drink the tea in silence, with the demon's glowing eyes fixed upon you. You feel uneasy, and try to finish the drink as soon as possible. Suddenly, you feel a metallic taste in your mouth. Looking inside the cup, you discover that you've been drinking blood. The laughing demon disappears, along with its samovar. Okay. <sighs> To the lake. Dark pine branches move to the sides, and you see a meadow strewn with old, overgrown plants. You come closer and look into one of them. The green of the meadow drops into the open maw of the plant, from which you sense the cold of the grave. God knows who dug them up. Inspect you start them. to inspect the pits one by one. You take one careless step and tumble down. Luckily, the pit is not that deep, and you climb out with ease. You frequently look around. You feel as if someone is watching you. You almost decide to give up finding anything in these mysterious pits when you notice an old grave at the bottom of one of them. Okay. A grim pit is filled with a damp stench. You see an old cross covered with a rotten towel. Near the grave, there is a small font with an offering to the dead. The old cross is covered with moss, and mushrooms grow at its foot. You feel uncomfortable near the grave of the unclean dead. What did I... Um, Goblet's gravestone. Uh, Golbet's gravestone is shaped like an izba, a traditional Russian countryside dwelling. In ancient times, the dead were buried in small house balcony windows. This is why coffins are referred to in some of the northern dialects of Russians as houses, or houses for the dead. In northern Russia, a gravestone in the shape of a cross, sometimes topped with a schematic roof, was called a golbet. The roof helped protect the cross from the rain. In the southern regions of the Russian Empire, a pseudo roof was set atop of ritual crosses or atop crosses that were placed near crossroads. On the day of the Pentecost, the souls of the stillborns, infants who died before baptism, and those who died unnatural deaths were uh, believed to appear on top of crosses. Hmm. Okay. Covered with moss, in the pot by the gravestone, you find a couple of gold coins, which you quickly but it seems to have disturbed the dead man. Suddenly, a white spirit rises from the grave. Alright, alright, I'll fight. My bad. Sorry about that. Ethereal... What does this mean? All attacks miss this creature duration. Okay. Uh,
bit dick about using his ability. That's my bad. Should have used it with the snakes and the other demons. To a farmstead, I guess. You hear a familiar voice. Young folk are having an evening gathering, although it's not the best season for them. Hi, Vodka! I know you have no son, but sing at least one song with us for old times' sake! Sure. All right, but just one. You sit by a house mm. and dissolve in a deep song. There's a rotting bridge over a small river. It's You're the creepy. Of the coal mine. In the <laughs> moonlight, you discern a strange silhouette on the other side of the bay. You take several steps towards the silhouette, but it disappears in the morning mist. A chill runs down your spine. Yeah, I would say so. Creepy as hell. Alright, we're here. The small barrel once held water. A door. Let's go look at it. The banya sure sank low, the door is stuck. Here it is. The old banya. The things it saw during its lifetime. Cool. Take this herb. Um In Sheridan, the banya was once most one of the most important features of an estate. People washed themselves in their clothes in the banya, as well as cursed themselves, cured themselves, gave birth, made divinations, and conjured. The banya brought health, but it was also both clean and unclean. Childbirth left the filth of the original sin, which had to be washed away and cleansed with holy water. Young people often organized yuletide gatherings and games in the banya, and sometimes formed couples. If during the often cruel Yuletide games none of the men stood up for a girl, she was considered to be almost the same as an old maid in the premarital hierarchy. Oh. Well, that's just hateful. Oh, I have a new skill. Um. Okay. Alright, Nikolai. Here at last. And all these demons and thoughts. Evil spirits have always been here, but you won't be able to see them without me. They sure charm people, but nobody can even see them. Enemies here as well. No place is safe these days, I guess. I've been thinking, why did the spirit attack me? Someone must have been there before me. Well, first of all, it was night time, and evil is strongest at night. Besides, why did the evil spirit attack Nikolai? Didn't ask permission. Let show up their rituals. Didn't ask to be let in, did you? No, I didn't. <laughs> I just walked in. Well, there you had it. The spirit took notice of that right away. You don't say. The banya has sunk a little. That's why it got stuck, I think. You're a strong fellow. You open it. I can do that, sure. But could you put a zagavor or something on me so no one grabs me? <laughs> Wait here. I'll look around first. Well, All right. Is it time? Yeah. All right. I know just the thing. Stand still. Okay. Shells have all rotted through. Let me kind Banik pay a visit to your home. Give it to me, Kola. Let me host Banik. 
Now, let's think of what to do with this bride of yours. She's been waiting for us, I suppose. That blue light has been shining here. Right until we came in. Let's summon her and ask some questions. All right. You are the knower here. First, let us prepare. <coughs> I'll draw a circle to be safe. I don't think your bride is evil, though. Better safe than sorry, Vasya. In order for the bandit to know we're here, let's heat up the stove. And that stone that you took, put it back. It's better in here, dude. I sort of forgot how for serving in the army. Really? Very well. After that, we'll step into the circle. I'll read the special spell, and just like that, she should appear. Vasya, you are a knower, no doubt about it. Yep, is that it? Okay. Well, let's get to work. Well, is it time? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is, Kola. As soon as I start reading, the demon will appear. If you step out of the circle, she'll strangle you. All right, I get it. I'll stand still. Here we go. Vanek, my hostess, let us wash and steam. Oh, God. That's terrifying. <laughs> what the hell? Bath bride? Jesus and his fruits! Don't move! Let me talk with this bandit. Wait. I'm not a demon. <laughs> I'm an ordinary girl. An ordinary girl, you say? Bannock says that she's but an ordinary girl. Is that a demonic trick? What is she then? Is she a changeling? I would mistake a bannock for a girl. Simple girls don't burn with that touch. I may look like I've been living with Vanya Kapdiriha for 18 years already. Well, it is as I said. I've been oh, living you're, I knew I should have cut changeling. A long, long time. I was still a child and came to wash with my mother. I did something wrong. I can't remember what. But my mother said, devil take me. And so, and Abdiriha took me. In Avdareka is the mistress of Abanya. She could be the wife of a bannock and usually behaves the same way as he does, punishing those who visit the Banya at the wrong time. It is believed that in Avdareka uses her claws to skin such people. This is the origin of her name, which if translated literally means she skinner. Her appearance can vary. She can appear as a human or a child. Most often, however, she appears as a woman with long hair, large teeth, big eyes, with claws and horns. She was often depicted as a cat with big eyes or as an inanimate object. Okay. Thank you, Miss Lisa. You're my only hope. Where have you been all this time? We wandered the Vanya. I got sent where the stove was hot. Such was my lot. Now we live in this old body. Do you know anything about Aspen demons? No, I don't. But I can ask the Abdiriha. Okay. How can we help? How do we bring you back? To escape her, I need to get closer to the mortal world. Bring me a good belt and a claw, the kind that's worn on the skin, and find me a man. Then the Abdiriha will have to marry me to her. You, young fella, don't you let me down. Only you can do it. I will help. I promise to do my best. What kind of claw do you need? Just any claw, won't? I've been lit. I need one that's been worn by a demon. Oh well, my. That's a puzzle. Where can we find a god fearing child? Oh, I don't know. Your friend is a no one. You'll think of something. 
Where can we find the bell? I need it fresh. Mm. It has to be woven by a skilled witch. Okay. We can give you the name right away. No, that won't do. The name has to be won from Siasa and given by a priest. Okay. All right, we'll help you. It's wrong to abandon a Christian soul. Besides, we already have a groom. Of course we'll help. Thank you. Bring a cross worn by a demon, a name, and a bell crafted by a witch. I think I hear the woofer. I need to go. Come back again with the gifts. I'll be waiting until we see you again. The demon crawls back under the bench and disappears into black paint. But she's still here. You return to old Yagora's house and think about what to do next. If she needs a cross that was worn by a demon, then okay. she hid under the bench. What a job you have. Worse than fighting the Turks. This is her, a changeling. Mm. What's a chink? The bath spirit must have switched her. Now, Vasilisa, can you guess how short... What demon is necessary for the book to open the Aspen seal? Mm. Oh, the Banya. It's not such a simple place. First, there's the Master of the Banya with whom you can bargain, but there are other wonders as well. One time, a soldier came to the village. He thought it was time he started a family, but all his peers had already married, so there were just widows and young girls left unmarried. The former soldier started to do all sorts of strange things to show off his strength. One time, he lifted a house with his bare hands and threw his cap underneath. Another time, he cleaved a pile of wood with one strike. So the villagers said to him, Go and fetch a stone from that banya where no one dares go and where a light burns at night. We'll know when that you're not afraid of anything, but you must go at midnight. They made a deal. It was frightening to go at midnight, but he went anyway, and there was indeed a light burning. Okay. What a pity you have switched the girl with an aspen log. The log is a demon itself. Well done, Pasha. The changeling from the ethereal. Hmm. The question is, should we... You can't abandon a Christian soul to evil spirits. If I were you... I think whether I should say but who the devil will marry a soldier like me? We haven't heard of such a child up until now. This means that the plan is kept secret. Right. The demon might have gobbled up her will help me then. We will. But what should we start with? Huh? What a cross worn by a everything is I heard that an Ikotnitsa go there and take her cross. Let's look into the other request first. An enchanted bell. This is not as simple as it seems. I know, th but she's not an easy woman to deal with. You Let's look into the other request first. Name? Up well, uh, that simple. Go to the priest and he'll give you a name from the Siatsi. All right. First, I would like to get a name for the girl. Well, uh, go to Hilger. It's decided then. Okay, I need a save. And I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here because Mikhailo is going to be home in like 5-10 minutes. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. I'm having an absolute blast with this game. It's like Slay the Spire, but different. <laughs> it, it really, I, I really like it. So I will see you guys in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Lunar Knight signing out. Bye!